I'm not sure what all this black stuff is. I think they did a burn in the area recently, like in the past couple days. Um, yeah, I think it was like a controlled burn. It smells kind of like smoke or ash or whatever. So it's probably what it is, but I just don't know like how these other trees survived. If they did do a burn, <laughs> maybe someone can explain that to me. Right now I'm on the Waya Bald. This is definitely the best view I've had on trail yet. Don't mind that ominous cloud there. I'm sure it's nothing. Good morning, y'all. I am just getting started this morning. It is a Tuesday and I got a 15 mile day, 15 and a half, I think. We'll see how my Achilles holds up and my plantar fasciitis. I think the plantar fasciitis is healing, which is a good sign, but yeah, it may have evolved into like tendonitis in my Achilles. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I mean, it feels fine when I'm hiking. It's just in the early mornings and at the end of the day, after I'm like done walking, it uh, definitely feels painful. Um, but yeah, just started moving about 8.15. Let's see, I got roughly eight hours, maybe seven hours of hiking uh, today. So, I always budget for two miles an hour of walking with my pack on. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I tend to go faster, but I'll take a lunch break and stuff. So just say eight hours. Um, but yeah, uh, pretty beautiful. Saw a nice, uh, almost sunrise. I guess you could see the light shining over the mountains, but I didn't quite see the sun. Um, but yeah, that was cool. Uh, Slept fairly well last night, woke up a few times because the wind was uh, kind of intense at some points. But yeah, just another day on the Appalachian Trail. And I am making my progress towards the Smoky Mountains. Um, so tomorrow I'll cross over into the uh, NOC, like first thing in the morning within like the first like mile or two. And then I'll spend probably half a day there uh, doing stuff. And then from there, I'll have like a four mile day to finish it out and then stop at a shelter. And then I'll have another like 14 or 15 mile day the next, the following day on Thursday. And that should put me within striking range of the Fontana Dam post office where I need to pick up a package. So, yep, I am uh, on a schedule this week. So once I get to the Smokies, I have no idea what my schedule will be, but we'll decide then. Every day I'm out here, I'm just in awe.
of the beautiful mountains. Today we're stopping for lunch on top of Rocky Bald. I mean, this is just an incredible view. Yeah, just an insane view. Yeah, I'm gonna have some peanut butter and tortillas. A lot of flies up here, but I mean, this is just too good to mess out on. I mean, you can see mountains forever. So this is my peanut butter tortilla, and I just roll it up, and then I just look out there and I appreciate these mountains because these are uh, like literally amazing. You can see to the horizon, like it's just mountains all the way to the horizon. Looks like we're going up the tower. A lot of side trails today. Oh my god. Incredible. Alright, so I'm up on top of some fire tower. I think it's Wesser Bald Tower. But I mean, the views today and yesterday have just been absolutely incredible. Like this is a 360 panoramic view of like mountains. Let me show you here. Absolutely incredible. I mean, today has just been incredible. These are definitely the best views I've seen. And the steepest drops, holy crap. All right, I think the trail goes this way. Watching my step. This part of the trail is amazing. I just love this. 
right on the cliff's edge. And no, that wasn't sarcasm. I actually do love this a lot. This is fun. Cool. <sighs> Makes me want to jump off. Not really. If I had like a wingsuit, maybe. Oh, yeah, my trek and pull shrink. Forgot to mention that they printed out my Smoky Mountains permit <clears throat> at the uh, NOC. Uh, it was like $40 for the permit, but they printed it for free. Um, so yeah, got that. Should be in the Smokies in three days from now. We just gotta get there. It's been very rough. Um, I was only gonna do like eight miles to the last shelter, but I decided to push on to make tomorrow easier. So that way I'm just doing like two 12s instead of a eight and a 15 to Fontana. Um, yeah, it's been pretty tough today. Literally all uphill, all uphill. Not a single downhill stretch today. <laughs> um, I guess I was rewarded with a great view up here. Uh, yeah, I'm running out of water, so I got like a little bit to go, probably an hour, I'll be fine though. And I'm gonna stay at a campsite tonight. But yeah, I guess we're making progress towards the Smokies. Good morning, I'm coming down into Stokoa Gap. My friend Citrus just yelled at me, he was uh, a little bit further ahead on the trail. He told me there was trail magic, so now I'm sprinting down the mountain. But yeah, let's uh, see what they have. Especially when he has a shit night. Yeah. Um, we had one where um, Bear got onto a branch, snapped the branch, took down two perfect PCT hangs. And just... just left the trail magic. I got strawberries, blackberries, oranges, bananas, coffee, donuts, and he drove me to get water too. It wasn't that far to the water, but it was really nice. Uh, yeah, his name was Moffat, and really appreciated that. Super delicious. So now I'm full of donuts and I'm hiking uphill. Good morning, y'all. Heading into Fontana today. Um, 
Got a pretty empty pack uh, as far as food goes. I'm picking up a seven day resupply for the Smokies. And yeah, I'm hoping to get through there in about six days or less. Um, I'm considering taking a zero tomorrow uh, and just staying like near Fontana at a hostel or something. Um, that might be worth it to me just to let my heels rest up and get better weather before I enter into the Smokies, which I'm highly anticipating. So I got about two hours before I'm in Fontana. So we'll see when I'm there. Uh, yeah, right now it's just a really rainy and foggy morning. A lot of my stuff got wet, um, but yeah, it will dry out when the sun comes out eventually. Um, for the Smokies, for my resupply, I'll have a sleeping pad because they technically require you to stay in the shelters, which usually I never stay in the shelters. Um, however, I'll have a pad just in case. So I'll be sending, I'll be sending home a uh, part of my winter setup to make space for that. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, go over all that once I get my resupply package in the Smokies. Just rolled my ankle, of course. Uh, Yep, but uh, just two hours to go, and then I gotta find a ride into Fontana. But that shouldn't be too hard. Good morning, everyone. I stayed at the Fontana Resort last night, took a zero. Um, trying to get better weather for the Smokies. Also, trying to let my heels kind of heal up. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I split a room with another hiker last night, and he left already. I'm going to be leaving soon. I'm going to do one mile today to the Fontana Dam Shelter. And it's supposed to be the best shelter on the Appalachian Trail. It has a shower, power outlets, uh, all that type of stuff, good view. So I'm going to take a one mile day there, another Nero. And then starting on Sunday, I'm going to... Uh, really get into the Smokies and start picking up miles like 12 to 15 per day through the Smokies. Um, should take me about five to six days to get through. Um, however, I do have about seven days of food and it's way too much. My bear canister, I have the BV 500, which is the biggest size, is the, uh, completely filled. I'll just show you guys right now. So here's the bear canister. Um, as you can see, you got some M&Ms, some fruit snacks. There's my cook pot. Uh, tortillas on the bottom, a bunch of different types of bars and candy. Um, yeah, just completely filled. Like every space in here is filled up. There's oatmeal, um, and there's a bunch of stuff in the middle, like pop tarts and things that break easily. I'm trying to protect them. And then I have more food in my bag that didn't even fit in there. I sent home yesterday a uh, under quilt attachment. So it was the attachment that took me down to zero degrees. Um, since I have the pad, it's not really worth it to have both of those things. Um, so I sent home the under quilt attachment, freed up a little bit of space, but then that was taken up by the pad. Uh, the pad folds down smaller than the other thing I just sent home. So, yep. Uh, just packing up now, going to shower and then, uh, going to head up to the lobby by 11 and maybe sit there for a couple hours and then hike on out. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for today. Last night we stayed at the uh, Fontana Resort. Uh, took about a five mile day to get there. So basically a Nero. And then this morning, or this afternoon, around 2 p.m., we hiked in a mile uh, to the closest shelter. It's like a mile and a half. Um, so another Nero. So basically the past two days have been Nero's. Um, tomorrow we have like 12 or 15. And yeah, uh, staying in a shelter tonight since I have a pad with me for the Smokies. So keep that through the Smokies. If I like it, then I might stick with it for a while along with my hammock. But yeah, that's about it.